beta cleavage reactions uh, this is uh, in continuation to our previous lectures uh, on photochemistry of carbonyl compounds uh, in which we have uh, studied uh, norish type 1 reactions norish type 2 reactions and paterno bucci reaction so this lecture is in continuation of the previous lectures uh, beta cleavage reactions uh, they take place uh, in carbonyl compounds having uh, weak c alpha c beta bond so for example uh, if we are having these types of uh, carbonyl compounds and uh, these carbonyl compounds uh, are having uh, a cyclopropyl ring then uh, this alpha beta bond carbon carbon bond is a weak bond and uh, the cleavage which take place between this bond is called as beta cleavage so uh, such type of uh, beta cleavage reactions uh, they produce alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds uh, through the formation of 1 3 by radicals of this type uh, and these radicals uh, they through uh, 1 2 hydrogen transfer they uh, get converted into uh, these types of alpha beta unsaturated ketones which are formed as the major product whereas beta gamma unsaturated ketones they are formed as the minor product uh, these reactions, beta cleavage reactions, they can also take place in cyclic ketones which are having a cyclopropyl ring uh, in addition to the ketone. So there also uh, the C alpha C beta bond uh, is a weak bond and it can be uh, broken. But in uh, these types of ketones, there are two possibilities of uh, breaking of uh, alpha beta bond. And uh, if uh, this bond breaks from here, then uh, we will get uh, products through root A. Whereas if it breaks from here, then we will get products through root B. The root A leads to the formation of uh, alpha beta unsaturated uh, ketones as we have seen in the uh, previous slide whereas uh, if it follows the root B then uh, ring expansion uh, products they are formed uh, in these cases. So for example if we take the case of bicyclo 430 hep 2 e this one and this is uh, radiated with UV light and if uh, this bond breaks that means uh, one electron at this place one electron at this place we will get this type of 1 to bi radical and then uh, 1 to hydrogen shift this uh, H radical from here uh, will be shifted to this CH2 it will become CH3 and this H radical uh, uh, one electron remaining and one electron from here they will form the carbon carbon double bond so this carbon carbon double bond will be formed from one electron from this uh, carbon hydrogen bond and one electron from here whereas this H radical will go to CH2 radical and this will become methyl so this is how we will get alpha beta unsaturated ketones as the product Similarly, if uh, uh, on photochemical radiation, the breaking of uh, this bond takes place and uh, the reaction follows root B, then uh, if this bond breaks, that means one electron will be at this place and one electron will be at this place. And that means uh, this will be having hydrogen. So like this, we will have one three uh, bi radical will be formed. Whereas here you have seen that a 1, 2 bi radical was formed. So uh, this uh, 1, 3 bi radical can uh, uh, transfer this hydride uh, radical in two ways. 
one is that h radical uh, is removed from here and one electron from here and one electron from here they will form a double bond and this h radical will be transferred to this and we will get uh, this type of uh, ring expansion uh, product where we will get alpha beta unsaturated uh, ketone as the product but overall there is in addition there will be a ring expansion and uh, second is that this h is removed h radical from here goes to uh, this place and one electron from here and one electron from here they will create a carbon carbon double bond like this and this h radical is transferred to this carbon and this will be neutralized so here we will get uh, these types of unsaturated ketones these are not alpha beta but this is alpha beta uh, this is gamma and delta gamma delta unsaturated ketones they will be formed but here again the product will be ring expansion product so that means in case of cyclic ketones we will get two types of products one is where no ring expansion takes place and the products are alpha beta unsaturated ketones whereas second is where ring expansion takes place and we will get alpha beta unsaturated ketones and gamma delta unsaturated ketones as the product uh, then is uh, uh, in such type of substrates uh, there is a competition between alpha cleavage and beta cleavage so uh, for example if we are having a substitution in the ketone over here then this part having a cyclopropyl ring this uh, will go for beta cleavage whereas this part will go for alpha cleavage so likewise uh, we will have either alpha cleavage product or beta cleavage product so that means alpha cleavage and beta cleavage they compete in uh, these types of substrates so alpha cleavage is nourished type one reaction and uh, these types of uh, substituted ketones they will, will give us unsaturated aldehydes as the product so uh, this type of diene aldehyde is formed from this uh, substrate whereas uh, by beta cleavage we will get these as the major product alpha beta unsaturated ketones as the major product uh, then uh, similarly another type of substrate which undergo uh, beta cleavage they are alpha beta epoxy ketones so uh, these types of uh, alpha beta epoxy ketones they are also this carbon oxygen bond is a weak bond and because of uh, radiation in UV light they undergo cleavage of this bond to give us these types of bi radicals and then this electron from here goes to this place and one electron from here goes to this place we will get a carbon oxygen double bond this one and then this methyl uh, one to methyl shift will take place one electron from here and then methyl radical from here this will form a carbon carbon bond and we will get the transfer of methyl from here so uh, the cleavage of uh, alpha beta epoxy ketones will give us uh, one three uh, di ketones as the product with one two alkyl shift taking place under photochemical radiation and uh, these types of reactions uh, they take place in singlet and by state and uh, uh, breaking of uh, CO bond uh, uh, this oxygen ring uh, breaking uh, bond is uh, in the singlet and pi state 
then applications of beta cleavage is uh, that uh, photo induced cleavage of c alpha c beta bond to give tricyclic products through 1 2 methyl uh, shift takes place in uh, tricyclic compounds bicyclic ketones which they which contain cyclopropyl ring so for example this type of uh, tricyclic uh, ketone uh, this is the alpha beta unsaturated ketone part and this is the cyclopropyl ring so the cleavage takes place over here and we will get a biradical uh, one electron at this place one electron at this place one three biradical will be formed and then uh, one of the methyl group uh, from here will be shifted to this place so uh, one electron from here, one electron from here, uh, here that means this carbon will have now two methyl groups. So this is the situation. Then uh, one electron from here and one electron from here, they will create a carbon-carbon double bond. So this is the carbon-carbon double bond. So by shifting of uh, methyl group, one to methyl shift, we will get these types of unsaturated ketones as the product by beta cleavage of uh, tricyclic ketones. Similarly, these types of uh, spiroketones, uh, the ketones having uh, this cyclopropyl ring uh, as a spiral uh, compound, this on uh, photochemical uh, irradiation, this alpha beta bond will break both are uh, symmetrical so either this break or this break we will get the same radical so this bond breaks and we will get this type of uh, one three radical and then one two hydrogen shift take place h with one electron goes from here to here ch2 free radical will become ch3 and uh, one electron from here, one electron from here, this will create a carbon-carbon double bond. So this is how we will get alpha-beta unsaturated ketones as the product by beta cleavage of these types of compounds. Uh, then uh, uh, applications of uh, alpha-beta epoxy ketones uh, here the cleavage of C alpha O beta bond takes place and uh, then uh, through carbon carbon bond migration they lead to simultaneous uh, ring contraction and ring expansion reactions and uh, we will get uh, one of the ring will expand other ring will contract so these types of ring expansion and ring contraction products they will be formed under such circumstances so say we are having this type of alpha beta epoxy ketone if this bond breaks at this alpha beta position then we will get this type of bi radical and then this carbon carbon bond transfers or migrates from here to this carbon so that means one electron from here and one electron from here they will form a carbon carbon bond at this place that means this ring will be a five member so by formation of a ring at this place we will get a five numbered ketone and one ring for uh, one electron from here and one electron from here this will create another keto group and uh, this ring will become seven member so from two six membered rings now we will have one five membered ketone ring and other seven membered ring ketone so we can say that simultaneous ring expansion and ring contraction takes place by such type of reaction similarly another example here uh, because this is an unsymmetrical ketone and uh, here breaking of this bond will take place because this will give us a, a more stable uh, radical then uh, bond will break on this side one electron from here 
one electron from here they will form a bond and this ring will be a fiber so that is how then this goes to this place and uh, this will form a uh, carbon oxygen double bond so this is how simultaneously ring expansion and ring contraction takes place in this case the next is uh, photo induced cleavage of uh, alpha beta epoxy ketones uh, through uh, cc bond migration and here only ring expansion will take place uh, and uh, examples they are spiro beta uh, diketones they will be formed so uh, these types of alpha beta epoxy ketones when this bond breaks from this place we will get this type of bi radical and then bond migration takes place from here and this five membered ring will become six membered when a bond is formed between these two and one electron from here one electron from here this will create a carbon oxygen double bond so this is how we will get spiro beta diketones as the product so this is all about beta cleavage reactions thank you very much